Hey everyone, now this is my first ever video on this channel, but today I'm going to talk about something I see all the time, and it is how do I get the items I want to send us. Now I see not many people and content creators such as Sam Tabor and the Pyramid talking about this, so I'm going to teach you how to get any item you want. Now for this it is super simple. Descenders has a wide range of variety when it comes to items and gear. Some of the gear, such as you could say what Sam Table wears, is majority of free items from extras and just redeeming a secret code. I say secret code, but it's not very secretive anymore. You can just find a video on YouTube, so you just look it up after you watch this. But majority of all items that you see, you mainly gain from rep. Rep is basically just gained in the career game route, and I I don't mean bike park, so don't go into well, Stoke a bike park and just get a million rep for like just spending like an hour in there and then expect to get a Lux bike and the, all the Lux gear you want, but that's not going to happen because there's no physical way of doing that because you the rep you get in bike parks doesn't go towards the actual rep. So just a disclaimer. But the rep that you gain in career gamer determines the rarity of the item you are rewarded with. Descenders has four varieties, silver being common, green being uncommon, blue being rare, and purple being extraordinary, I think. But the items that you want determine how much rep and you need in one session. Not so when I mean by one session I don't mean like you do five careers and then at when you finish those five careers you see that you have I don't know 50,000 rep gained in those five games that doesn't mean that you're gonna get a 50,000 rep worth item it just means that for each of those sessions to get five let's say you got 10,000 in each of those five ones you get a 10,000 rewarded item such as like an uncommon or like a green or a silver so don't expect to get something big again in those five games but for example say you want the gopro for the helmet or the, on the bike with the handlers um that item is a default item meaning that you only need 10 to 1000 rep in one run so you can probably just do that in one track so you can just end your session straight away and you'll get a silver item and that's basically the easiest way to get the GoPro. That's what I and I've got all the silver items now, and it's very easy. But now it's not a hundred percent guaranteed that you'll get the GoPro. But if you aim to get that much rep each time, it's a higher likelihood that you'll get the item because you're staying in that item area and not going past or below the area you need. So just aim for the area you need. But say you want a Lux bike. Lux bikes are like one of the hardest things to get. So for Lux bikes, you need if you want a Lux bike, you need fifty thousand rep at the minimum, and that's only a twenty percent chance of getting an extraordinary. And Lux bikes aren't the only extraordinary bike and gear. So be prepared not to get the Lux bike straight away and not the color you want, but. Again, to get a Lux bike, you need 50,000 to 150,000 rep, and like, that's hard to do. I've never gotten 250,000. I think my max was 100,000 once, and I didn't get. I've never gotten a Lux bike, and I don't want one, because both me and Descenders agree that the Lux bike is the worst thing in the world. I don't know about you guys, but it's just overrated in, my, in our opinions. The best way to get a Lux bike is by going to the desert. Now, first of all, to get the desert, you need 100,000 rep all together, like from, not in one session, but just all together from all your different sessions, you just need 100,000 in total. Then you'll be able to get the career plus, and it's the first map on the career plus, I believe. Should be. Apart from that, you just wanna, on the desert, you just wanna do, basically, just try and get the fakey, the fakey notation, whatever it's called, and then just fakey all the way down desert, don't hit any checkpoints, just get to the bottom, stop, and then make sure that your rep goes into the rep counter at the bottom, and then just reset, and you won't lose a life, and do the fake again, you can do it in the last stand, which gets you more rep, so basically what I would do is I'd go in the desert, get the fakey notation, 
go into the last stand and then just fake it all the way down and then reset and then just find a good map to fake it down and boom, you're done. You're just getting heaps of rep. Do you remember the Lux Bikes and Extraordinary Items? It's not the total rep you have, it's the rep you get in one run. Alright, just remember that. And yeah, that's basically how you can get any item in the game. I'm still trying to get all the items in the game, but that's how we get mainly the items I want in the game. Just aim for the rep that you will need. And yeah, um, thanks for watching this for my first video. If you do enjoy it, subscribe, like, turn post notifications on. Uh, in the future, if I get more followers, and I'll do live streams and all that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another video on Descenders.